Hello everyone, welcome to Theme World. So in my last content restriction video, I showed you how to restrict access to individual pages or posts on your WordPress site, depending on user roles, their login state and more. But in this video, we're going to be taking it up a notch. In this video, we're going to learn about advanced content restriction, where we'll be restricting not just pages and posts, but also post categories, tags, and much more based on multiple conditions. We'll be utilizing various user attributes like their registration details, which is going to be especially useful for membership sites, e-commerce sites, e-learning sites, community sites, and much, much more. So yeah, let's just get started with the video. But before we do, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Okay, so here we are within the computer screen. Now, first things first, I have a disclaimer, and that is whatever I'm gonna show you in this video, the advanced content restriction, you're going to require the premium version of this user registration and membership plugin right here. If you are looking for a free solution to restrict content within your WordPress site, then you might wanna check out my previous video. Its link will be down in the description below. But yeah, whatever I'm gonna show you in this video, this is going to be an advanced version to it. And for that, you're going to require the premium version of this plugin. The link to this plugin's pricing page is going to be in the description as well. You can buy any one of their premium plans. It's a standard checkout process after which you'll get login credentials to this site right here. From where you can download the user registration and membership pro zip files, so simply click on download. And while the file is downloading, you can go within your license keys tab and you can get your license as well. Okay, so now that we're done with it, let's go within our WordPress dashboard. And from in here, let's go within plugin click on add new plugin and we're going to upload the plugin file that we just downloaded simply open that file install it so once the plugin has been installed activated and as soon as the plugin activates you'll be redirected to their setup wizard so simply click on get started so this plugin is also going to change your registration system behavior by making it more secure your default wordpress registration is not really all that great so yeah it's just going to enhance it and it gives you two different kinds of registrations it's going to be either a normal registration so you'll just have a registration form or you can also sell memberships now i have a completely different video for this if you want to check it out links down below for now let's just click on normal registration and let's click on next so here are a few different things that it has done. First of all, it's, it has given you a more secure, reliable registration form for your WordPress site. It is going to be custom. Guest registration has been enabled. So if anyone visits your site, they'll be able to register. And your default WordPress login page has been disabled because it is not really all that secure. If you want to enable it, you can, though it is not really recommended. Anyways, it has also created a few different pages. It has created a registration page, a login page, my account page, and a lost passport page, which is all right. Let's click on next. Now these settings right here, you can change it as as per your liking very simple settings i'm just going to leave it as it is for now and i'm simply going to click on next now if you want to sign up to their newsletter you can do that simply click on yes i would love to help and now let's go ahead let's view our registration page first so this right here is our registration form now bear in mind this is a completely new site so things are not going to be looking visually pleasing all right i don't have a container here to keep the form nice and thin i guess so yeah, this right here is going to be your new registration page you'll also have a login page in here currently i'm already logged in anyways you'll have a login page in here and you've got a few different pages. Now, keeping all that aside, let's go ahead first and let's activate our plugin. Now to do that, you can simply click on settings and from in here, go within license and whatever license key that you copied from within your WP Everest dashboard, you can simply paste it in right here and click on activate license. So there we go, my license key has been activated. So now, once your license key has been activated, you can click on extensions tab. And from in here, if you search for content restriction, you should see this right here, simply enable it and let me refresh my page once and now we are ready to restrict some content within our site so i'm going to take a very linear approach in this video i'm going to start with a very basic kind of restriction and then we're going to add multiple different connections while i show you what is possible so yeah i guess let's get started so first of all let's get started with our page restriction so this right here is a page that i've created called goldilocks and i want to restrict this page now if you watched my previous video then you probably already know if i go here within settings within content restriction i have a global content restriction setting right here which I can use and if I go here within this page I edit this page I can simply scroll down below and I'll have my content restriction settings right here I can use the global restriction setting to restrict this page which is one way to restrict this page but in this video we're jumping into the advanced content restriction bit for which we're not going to be restricting this page from there we're going to utilize something called content rules so here let's go within content rules and here we can add multiple different rules to restrict content so here, if I click on add new, I can add a new rule and it can either be an access rule or a restrict rule. For now, I'm just going to leave it at access and I'm going to type in Goldilocks since that is the page I want to restrict. So yeah, Goldilocks, new rule created. And now in here, you've got three different things. You can set up your condition or your logic 
the target content for that logic and what action should there be if the conditions are met or if they're not met. So yeah, very basic. Don't worry about it. I'm going to explain everything to you. And by the end of this video, you're going to be a content restriction pro. So this right here is our logic group. Now, first of all, let me show you the page that I've just created called the Goldilocks page. Now, suppose I want this page to be only visible to logged in users. So if anyone is not logged in, they're just visiting my site, then they will not be able to view this page. Then what I'll do is I'll simply click on add field. And here I would choose user state, right? So if the user is logged in, then I want the target content, which is going to be our page. Pick the page, Goldilocks, that person should have access. So if the person is logged in, the page Goldilocks will be accessible to them. And suppose they're not logged in, then the action that needs to happen is we'll be showing them a message. You do not have sufficient permission to access this content. We're simply gonna create this rule for now. If I were to copy this, open this in an incognito window, visit it currently i'm not logged in i'm a guest user and if i try to visit the goldilocks page you can see this page has been restricted you do not have sufficient permission to access this content fine so our page has been restricted now here we can do much more things suppose besides user state i want this page to be only available to the users who have a role like suppose i've got multiple different roles within my wordpress site one is the subscriber role the other is the contributor role, author role, there's many more roles. And by the way, this plugin very soon is going to give you a feature where you can create custom roles. So yeah, that's coming very soon. And after that, you'll be able to restrict content based on custom user roles as well. But for now, let's use one of the default WordPress roles. So here, suppose I want only contributors to access the Goldilocks page, right? So this condition basically says if the person is a contributor, whoever it is that's viewing the site, which also means they must be logged in first, right? So if they're logged in, if they are a contributor, then the page Goldilocks will be accessible to them. If not, then we're going to show them this message. And suppose here, if you want to render your login page, then what you can do is, then you can render this short code called user registration login. So simply copy the short code and you can paste it right there save it so now what's going to happen is let me show you our login page will be shown if the content is restricted so now again opening this site on an incognito window where i'm not logged in if i visit the goldilocks page here you can see i have my login form from where i can log in and if i have the permission then i can view this page right so now let's jump into logic groups so far i've only showed you how to restrict content based on a singular condition now, if you want to add multiple conditions here, now suppose someone is a contributor, that is fine, but they also must be of age like 18. If they're not over the age of 18, then they should not be able to view this page. Then what I can do is I can restrict this content based on the registration details of the user. How do we do something like that? Okay, to do something like that, first of all, we're gonna have to go within their all forms menu. And from in here, you can see this right here is the default form that this plugin has given us. We can simply edit it. And here, what we can do is we can add a checkbox field or a radio field, my bad. So let's drag and drop a radio field in here. Before we do that, let's do something like this. I've just added a new row and I've dragged and dropped the radio field in there. So if I click on this field, I'll see it's field options. And from in here, I can ask our, my user something like, are you over the age of 18? So my first choice is going to be yes. And my second choice is going to be no. And we're gonna remove this third choice. Let's make this field required. And yeah, I guess that's about it. If you want to, you can drag many other fields from within your field menu or your fields drawer, whatever you want to call it. You can drag it into your form and you can utilize all those fields when you're registering your user. So yeah, but for now, this is the question I've asked within my registration form if the person is over the age of 18, right? So again, going back to our content rules, I'm going to edit the rule for my Goldilocks page. Here I can add another field, which is going to be UR form field. And here I can select a form. This right here, the default form is the form that we just created a new field for. Let's go ahead, let's select the field. Are you over the age of 18? Now we want to give access to the Goldilocks page to the user who is a contributor only if they're over the age of 18. So here I'm going to type in yes, because that is the option that we gave within that field. So now about the logic groups. So if you've selected the OR logic group, now this is something that you would understand if you have been studying computer science, etc. If you know programming, then I'm pretty sure you will understand this. Basically here you can see we've got two different conditions, right? So the OR logic basically says any one of these true conditions could be true and will give access to whichever content you've selected here. Now the AND logic says 
both of these need to be true and only then we'll give access. Now the not condition basically does not care. If you're supposed to give access, it's not going to give access, it's going to restrict it. So not is basically an inverse. You can think of it that way. But for now, I'm just going to keep it on and. So basically both these conditions need to be true and only then the user will get access to our Goldilocks page. Right, so that is what's going to happen as per this condition that we've set. So let's go ahead, let's see this in action. So this right here is my incognito tab where I'm now logged in. First of all, let's go ahead, let's register. So I'm going to fill out the name, test at the right test.com. Okay, so I've filled in my username, email, password. I've confirmed that password. And here a question has been asked, am I over the age of 18? So if I click on yes and I click on submit, then here you can see the user has successfully been registered. Now, if I go over to my login page, here I can type in the credentials that I've just set, test at the rate test.com and my password. And there it is, I'm able to log in and I'm over the age of 18. So now if I click on the Goldilocks page, I don't have access. And why is that? That is because we have another condition and the condition is I also need to be a contributor. Now by default, when you've set up your form, if I go here, if I click on edit this form, then here within my form settings, you can see that my default user role is going to be subscriber. So currently the test user that I just logged in with has a subscriber role, right? So let me go ahead, let me change its role to contributor. So I'm just gonna click on edit user, gonna go down here and I'm gonna change his role to contributor. Save it or update, my bad. And now here I am once again, if I refresh this page, currently I have the contributor role and I'm over the age of 18. So I have access to this page. Very simple, right? I hope you get the gist of it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. I'll make sure you understand it. Now let's add a few more conditions. I want to show you what other user attributes you can use. So back again within user registration and membership content rules. Let's go ahead. Let's edit the Goldilocks rule. Now here I can restrict content based on a lot of things user roles as i said before you can also do a lot of nuanced things like you know when was a user registered when was their date what was their user registration date you can restrict content based on that you can restrict content based on their period after the registration as i said before the user state whether they are logged in or logged out the email domain so suppose i want a page to only be viewable to people who have registered with a themegirl.com domain then i can do something like that this is going to be really useful if you have a corporate site so currently the user that i just registered with has a test.com email domain right so suppose i restrict it so that only people who have a gmail.com domain are able to access the goldilocks page Age, then it doesn't matter whether the person has a contributor role, whether or not the person is over the age of 18. If their email domain is not gmail.com, then they will not have access. So I've saved this rule. And again, if I refresh this page, then you can see I don't have access. Now I'll show you how an or condition works as well. So if I click on or right now, and if I save it, currently for our test user that I just created, two of these conditions are true. One of them being the roles, the person has a contributor role and the person is over the age of 18 but their email domain is not gmail.com. So in this scenario, if I refresh this page, you can see I have access to it. So yeah, let me just go ahead, let me switch it up back to and, and let me just keep it as it is. Now you can restrict content based on a lot of other things like the minimum public post count, like how many posts a user has submitted before, like you can count such things, capabilities, which kind of goes a little bit out of this video scope. If you are a developer, you'll know exactly what capabilities are. Yeah, besides that user registration source. So suppose you've created multiple different registration forms and you want to show or hide content based on which form a user has registered form, then you can do something like that as well. You are form field, I showed you that before with this field right here, whether or not the person was over the age of 18. And finally, payment status. So using this plugin right here, you can not just register users into your site, you can register users into your site by taking a payment. So it can be, so it can be a paid registration and you'll only allow access to any sort of content. It could be pages, posts, based on whether or not their payment has been completed. I do something like payment status completed. Now for this to work, I'd have to set up my registration form so that payment has been enabled in some way and only then it would work. For now, I've not done that. If you want to do it, feel free to check out this plugin. Feel free to check out its documentation. I've got a lot of different videos as well. So yeah, you may check that out. But for now, let me delete this. I showed you a lot of user attributes that you can use to set up different conditions and logics. You can also add something like groups in here. So a sub logic group is basically going to be a subgroup where you can 
again given multiple different conditions, which I'm pretty sure is going to be complex for a majority of the users, so I'm not even going to go into it. Now, if you are a developer, then you most probably understand what this is. If, if you don't understand it, you can fiddle around with it and I'm pretty sure you'll get the gist of it. And let me know if you really want an in-depth video on this, then I'm ready to create that as well. But just let me know down in the comments below and I'll create it for you. But for now, let's skip logic groups. I'm just going to delete it. Now let's move over to target contents. So as I showed you before, this rule right here only applies to our Goldilocks page, right? Currently, because that is the only page I've selected here. Well, I can select multiple different pages. I showed you that. But something that's new compared to our last video is that you can not just restrict access to posts and pages, but you can also restrict access to post types and different taxonomies like categories, tags, and formats. I'm going to show you how to do it for categories, suppose. So here I have a category set. And I have this category one right here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna select it for now. I'm gonna save it. So if I go here within my site, I'm going to create a post first. So hello world post. This is the default basic post. Let me categorize it so that it is within the cat one. So currently this post is a part of cat one right here. I'm just gonna save it. So now, as with the rule that I've set here, if the user is a contributor over the age of 18, has a gmail.com domain then they will be able to access the posts within the category one and also the goldilocks page standalone so yeah, i'm just going to save it for now and back again interacting this site like a normal user i'm just going to refresh it so here you can see i don't have access to it and the reason for that is my allowed email domains is set to gmail.com while this user has a test.com email so i'm just going to save it to test.com and now if i again refresh it i will be able to view it right so now let me go ahead, let me visit my posts. And if I try to view this post, which is within the category one, here you can see I can view the post freely. But now suppose if I were to change this rule and make it a restrict rule and save it. Now for all these conditions that I've just set, instead of giving access, this rule is going to restrict access. So yes, I hope this is understandable. Now if I refresh this page once again, you can see I don't have access to it. Why? is because I changed the access type to restrict. And again, since I've selected categories here, that means whatever post I create within this category, all of them are going to be restricted. So suppose I were to create multiple different posts. Let me go ahead, let me create a new post. Let me title it Goldilocks. Once again, I don't even know what Goldilocks means. I've just been typing it out. Do you know what Goldilocks means? If you do, just let me know down in the comments below. I heard this really long while back when I was a kid. I don't know now. So suppose I've created this new post called Goldilocks once again, and I've categorized it so that it is within the category one. I published this page or this post, my bad. Now what's gonna happen is here again, I'm interacting this site within my incognito window as the test user. I go within posts and I try to view the Goldilocks post. Then you can see I don't have access to it. Why? As per this Goldilocks rule right here that I've created, all these conditions, if they are true, then the action is currently set to restrict. So any post within this category will be restricted. Now, if I change this access control back to given access rather than restricting access, then I save it. And if I refresh this page, you can see our test user has access to this page. So you can do this not just with categories, but you can do this with tags as well. You can create multiple different tags. You can give access to it, restrict access to it. You can do the same with formats. So you can check this out. This is the very basic gist of how you would do these things, how you would step up and you would give access, different permissions to different users by setting up multiple of such rules. So this right here is just a singular rule that I've set up. If I go here back within the content restriction menu, I can set up multiple such rules giving you really advanced content restriction within your wordpress site so i hope this video was helpful do not hesitate to ask me anything in the comments so yeah, be sure to check out this plugin its documentation if you have any queries you can also go to their support team the support team is amazing so yeah, just letting you know and i guess that is about it for this video so i hope you guys found that video helpful if you did drop a like subscribe all the helpful links will be down in the description below and i guess that's about it i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care